In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather today to celebrate our Lord's presence among us. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. Here is your God, he comes with vindication. With divine recompense, he comes to save you. 
Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag, then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will birth forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become pools and the thirsty ground springs of water. The word of the Lord. Jacob keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, the Lord sets captives free. Give sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Pray. fatherless and the widow the Lord sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, my soul. A reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and a poor person in shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, sit here, please while you say to the poor one, stand there, or sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters, did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs in the kingdom that he promised to those who love him? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Again, Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the, of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So what do you think? Do you think we're living in the end times? I'm not sure. Let's check. Wars and insurrection? Check. Severe weather and flooding and fires? check. Plagues, check. People worshiping at the false idols of materialism and greed, check. Yikes. So are we living in the end times? I'm afraid the answer to that question is above my particular pay grade. But let's just assume for argument that we are. What are you going to do differently that you're not already supposed to be doing? Aren't we supposed to be loving everyone, forgiving everyone, helping those in need? Aren't these the things that our Lord will be looking for when he returns? So, if we are in the end times, make sure that when Jesus returns, he finds you hard at work building the kingdom of God. If we are in the end times, what a cool time to live, right? People have dreamed of this for generations, for centuries. And even though we endure these hardships, if that's what's really going on, we are more blessed than we realize. So, do the things that matter not only to our world, but that matter to God. Love, forgive, and help one another. Now let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence in God's love for us, we now present our needs. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis and all bishops, may God bless them with unity and fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the whole world, may the peace given by Christ come to rest on all nations and peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our political and military leaders, that they may tirelessly seek peaceful settlements to international disputes, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our community of faith, may the Lord shower us with the grace to listen to and do his will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are sick, <clears throat> May they find strength and courage in the cross of Christ and discover the redemptive value of their suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, especially June Meyer and Charles Cummings. May God welcome them into his eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our own intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we thank you for always listening to our prayers. We ask that you grant what is best for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good all. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may be due fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know that it belongs to your boundless glory, that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity, and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself. Through Christ, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, <coughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith, when we eat this bread, Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and to all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Anthony, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Our spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. I'd like to thank everyone who helped with our liturgy today. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a great holiday and a wonderful week. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Weary from